What's going on guys? Today I've got a review video of Dai's new ULI barrel system. I purchased the FCI back along with uh, the ULI front and I got three inserts. We're just gonna do a shooting video of the uh, new barrel system and here's the uh, paint drop test. We were shooting GI three star paint and it was super brittle, all those broke. I was sitting in my garage, so it was nice and cold. But I just love this barrel back, guys. Like, as you can see, it's gorgeous. It's got, like, this carbon flake. So hope you guys enjoy the video. And we got that three-star GI paint from the drop test, you guys know. That stuff is brittle. And we're shooting NXL 10.2. We don't got much air left, so we'll see if she can squeeze it out. Oh, money. Let's get that focus there. All right, we're gonna let it rip here. Not one break. We got one ball left. We're running low on air, I could tell. That's it, guys. The die FCI forged carbon barrel back on the ULI system. What's going on, guys? Today I wanted to bring you a video on the new die ULI barrel system. So die has just come out with a new barrel system in the past uh Eh, maybe a month or two. Well, let's probably go on the plus side of two. Uh, and it is a insert system. Uh, this is very different from what they've had out in previous years. What they've been running in the past was the ULS system, which was where you would just buy a variety of ULS backs depending on what bore size you needed. And uh, that's kind of how you would use uh, their barrels. Now they've come up with an insert system kind of similar to Freak, but not really. It's uh, called a power insert. Planet Eclipse kind of, I think, started the bandwagon with this one. And uh, it's just an insert with a back on it. So myself uh, being who I am, I went with Die because I'm a Die fanboy. And uh, they always seem to have the best quality barrels. Die is known for top-notch barrels all around the board. So I went ahead and purchased these and I'm gonna let you guys know if I think it's worth the money. Um, so getting into it, these inserts, as you can see, are labeled nicely. It's laser etched here, and uh, it's got the bore sizing. So you got a 688, it says ULI, and it's eight and a half inch control bore. And then it's got all these different uh, specifications it's here, the tolerance, the like finishing quality, um, material processing, all, all kinds of crazy stuff. And then it says insert compatibility, ULI comma PWR system. So uh, I bought three inserts. So I got the 680, 684, and the 688. And uh, I ended up buying their newest uh, release that just came out of Cup, the Forged Carbon Barrel Back. This thing looks stunning. As you can see in the lighting, it's like a carbon fiber flake. It's kind of shimmery. Like in the lighting, it kind of sparkles or bedazzles, almost like a, a ring, which I think is really, really nice. Like I really like the look of this, uh, even more so than their previous carbon fiber barrel iterations. It's a different process how they kind of come up with this finishing. It's basically carbon fiber compressed under pressure uh, so it's different from their woven carbon fiber barrels in previous years. Now, I'm going to set some of this stuff to the side and we're going to crack out the scale because I am interested in seeing how much some of this stuff actually weighs. And you guys might be interested in that too. Is it heavy? Is it light? We're going to find out. So, I've got the ULI barrel back. I'm just going to compare the two backs uh, to start, and we're going to weigh it in grams. 
make sure you guys can see this here. So we're gonna let that zero out. Tar. Come on. Okay. So the standard uh, ULI barrel back is 49 grams. And we're gonna set that off to the side and we're gonna take the forged carbon barrel back and drop that bad boy on there. And that one is 46 grams. So I think that one's coming in with three grams less. Yeah, so the carbon uh, one is coming in three grams less than their standard ULI back. So that's good to know, it's a little lighter. Now one of the inserts, a 688 insert, is weighing around 27 grams. So all together with the insert, and we'll use the lighter barrel back, we are at 74 grams in total. And if we were to compare that to a 688 ULS barrel back, sixty-eight. And together with the insert, this is 74. So with the insert and the back, this is actually a couple grams heavier than just the 688 barrel back. But let's see what it looks like when we put it all together here. So all together, this is the ULS, the older barrel. We are at 114 grams. And if I put the barrel tip on this guy, one hundred and seventeen grams. So this barrel is a little bit heavier than the older iteration, uh, but nothing that would be noticeable. Three grams, you're not going to notice uh, the difference. And to be honest, I would prefer uh, my barrel be a little heavier. I didn't buy the carbon fiber for its lightness. I bought it for its looks. It looks insane uh, and it's crazy. Like it's a very expensive barrel and uh, I like kind of having the fancy stuff. So those of you that are wondering how expensive is this stuff, the barrel back is 60 bucks and each insert is gonna run you about $35 and this is in US. The barrel tip is $60, and the FCI barrel back is $129, so pretty pricey. That's just me. I like kind of always having the new and fancy stuff. Um, so that's interesting. It's not necessarily lighter, but it is lighter than its uh, partner here with the standard aluminum. I'm just going to set the scale to the side here. And we are going to compare the die ULI insert. Let's actually grab the 680. Okay, we got a 680 here. And we're going to compare it to the Planet Eclipse PWR insert. This is a 0.681. As you can see, they are the same length. Um, the noticeable difference is there's no fancy writing on the actual insert. We just have the marking on the back. It says 0.681. Uh, the die also has the marking on the back, but it has the very nice laser etching, which is just a nice little fancy extra that they kind of put on there just to show you that, hey, you know, we're die. We like to go above and beyond with our barrel finishes. And uh, here you go, right? Uh, you might pay a little bit extra, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, the boxes that came in, I'm just gonna talk boxes for a second here. This is the die box that the inserts shipped in, barrel insert system. And this was a, uh, Black ULI. Yeah, these are these are these are the boxes that the inserts are getting shipped in. Okay, I've got like a ton of these boxes. They're all the same size. And uh, they come with these nice foam cores. So basically your insert would just kind of slide on that, and they've got another insert in there. 
This is gonna steady that inside the case um, versus the partner here. Planet Eclipse just has their cardboard box. Nothing super crazy. And you just would have your insert kind of shipped in there like so. So Dai kind of spent a little bit more money too on packaging. Uh, it's nice and secure. It's supposed to hold it in there. And uh, yeah, just overall just looks better as far as the packaging is concerned. The actual finishing, uh, everything just kind of looks a little better on the die version of the insert system. Now saying that, if you already have all the Planet Eclipse uh, PWR inserts or the Carbon inserts, uh, who else is making these inserts? Hmm, I think that's it. I think it's just Carbon, Planet Eclipse, and Die. Uh, put in the comments below if I'm wrong. Uh, but if you have the new Die Barrel or you want to buy the Die Barrel for your Planet Eclipse marker, these inserts will work, okay? Um, they are exactly the same inserts. There's nothing different about them other than the finished quality. So that's nice to know. So if you want to throw a die barrel on your Planet Eclipse gun, or whatever marker you're shooting with, uh, go right ahead. You can't even tell. You'd be uh, deceiving nobody. Nobody would even know. Um, so yeah, those inserts work. Set that to the side. But overall, I'm really happy with the uh, product dies to come out with here. Um, you can always add more inserts later on if you feel like you need to. I felt like the three is a really good start. You've got your 8.8, which is standard if you get kind of bigger paint. Uh, it starts swelling in the heat. 8.4 is really common, and then 8.0 if you get really small paint. Um, I'm really happy with the product they came out with here. I like it a lot. I think it's uh, a nice design. And uh, this barrel back, though. I don't know, guys. You tell me. You think it looks funky? I think this thing looks wicked, in my personal opinion. This is probably the nicest barrel back they made to date. But they need to come up with different rings. Like, I've seen somebody online... They came up with like, they put like a black ring on it. I don't know how I feel about these gray rings. After I saw that guy put like a, he put like a silicone wedding ring on it or something. They gotta give us more options here as far as the bands are concerned. Like we should be able to purchase red ones or blue ones. Like if you got a red marker, you wanna put a red band on that. That'd look really nice. Um, but yeah guys, I don't know. The die ULI inserts, I like them. They're a little more money than the competitors, but if you wanna spend a little more money, you're gonna get a little more bang for your buck as far as quality is concerned. And uh, I'm a big quality guy. So hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, because we're gonna have more content, guys. Look at these, a little sneak preview. See that trigger? These also came out of cup. And that's next on the list of videos for me. We're gonna put those bad boys in to our DSR Plus. So I'm excited to try out some new triggers. Stay tuned for that video, guys. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one then. Peace out.